Hello, Lily Cade. Hi, Claire Robbins. How are you? Good. <laughs> I think Thank everyone you. like knows you as like the real lesbian of porn. Kind of the only one. Like, <laughs> I mean, there's been there's been girls who have been lesbian to dinner, but like as far as sustained career, it's kind of me. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say it's yeah. you. You have that. Porn Valley is like token dyke. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good because we need one. <laughs> you have yeah, like this one. really nice like energy though that's like not kind of like the normal dainty yeah. girl girl More performers like yeah girl, girl, it's like girl, rough a lot just... of girl girl performers are like girl girl only because they don't really like sex or because they aren't ready to take that step yet or because they're <laughs> just like modeling on video <laughs> oh. yeah it's very oh. sensual and fuck the shit out of you girl <laughs> <laughs> basically male talent Porn was weird when I first got in, like how it wasn't what I expected. Like you think from the outside, you see the AVNs, you see like sort of porn's public face. And porn's public face is very much like, we just love to fuck, we all just love sex. And then you get into it and it's like this bizarre, weird culture. Yeah. I meet girls all the time and like their first girl girl scene or their first scene at all. And they're like, well, you know, what made you decide that you want to do this? And they're like, oh, I don't know, man. Like someone met me in a grocery store and I was like, okay, I guess I can make a lot of money. And it's like, no, you can't. Dude, stop. Oh my go God. home. <laughs> Get back on the fucking bus and go because there's going to be someone more 18 than you tomorrow. Yeah. And if you, you don't actually like this, it's not a good job. You like it, it's great. You like it, it's great. But if you don't. Well, you obviously like it because you've been in the industry for quite some time and you have a pretty big following. My fans are like smaller than like. So there's fewer of them, I would say, than like some girls that are super, super popular who get the AVNs for best new starlet and whatever, but my fans are really loyal because there's not a lot of other people that fit into the niche that I fit into. They join my website, lilykate.com. So your website, you like film your own content for that? Yeah, lilykate.com. Right now I think it's like 178 scenes, might be 180. It's just huge. That's um, gigantic. And I update once a week. Most of the content is really only there and not elsewhere, but some of it, you know, is you could find it on another girl's website. Some, yeah. some of it is like my Philly Films movies. I put the scenes that I'm in there. So if you like me, <laughs> <laughs> if you want to watch me get laid a lot, um, go to lilykate.com. What else are you up to? So I recently uh, released a movie that is up until now is like my best film that I've ever done. It's called Between the Headlines, a lesbian porn parody. So Between the Headlines is a story about what happens when Hillary Clinton hooks up with Michelle Obama and a staffer walks in on them. I saw this on Twitter. <laughs> this is like my masterpiece up until now. <laughs> Uh, Hillary Clinton is who the fuck else could it be? It's uh, Nina Hartley, of course. Oh yeah, duh. And Lotus Lane does a fantastic job with Michelle. She she studied the accent. She like went out and bought a dress that Michelle owns because like Michelle, for some reason like there's some ready to wear clothes that were at yeah. Target that like Michelle wore to promote. Mm -hmm. I think Isaac. Miss Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Michelle Obama just like. Kind of, for some reason is like very known for wearing like off the rack like ready clothes. Ready to wear clothes, yeah. And that are like not expensive either. Right. So she was able to go and get like something that Michelle Obama actually has worn or owns. That's and, insane. Uh, and she, she nailed the fucking Chicago accent the whole time. And this, this scene is great. Um, they actually stay in character the whole time, which is kind of like something that is important to me. Yeah. Uh, as a director, I don't like sex scenes where their characters and it just goes away. As soon as yeah, as soon as like, sex dude, comes. You know, we are professionals. We are sexual athletes and sexual performers. Keep the fucking role play going. So they do. I mean, you know how they'll spank me like Eric Cantor. Um, they, they talk the whole time about like congressional ladies lunches and like what really goes down. And this is all improv. This is all just banter. And uh, and then at the very end of the scene, Vanessa Vera Cruz, a very, very pretty girl, girl performer. She walks in on them and you know, screams and like drops what she's holding and runs out and then the movie progresses from there like what is gonna happen what what choice is Vanessa gonna make oh my goodness um, I have Aaliyah Love is Megyn Kelly Ooh. and we did like all the green screen work to make it look like those new shows and then I'm Rachel Meadow <laughs> Um, That's fantastic. Which, like oddly enough, was a goal of mine when I got into porn. Like I'm gonna play Rachel Meadow in the porno parody, but we don't really do lesbian porno parodies. Okay, so like I had wanted to play Rachel Meadow in a porno when I got into porn, 
in like a week or whatever. So I finally did it, but I had to do it myself. What a funny goal to have. <laughs> I don't know if there's anyone that I would like want to play in a parody. I played Chloe O'Brien. And, um, like in 24? Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, and um, the thing about that is that I had never watched it before and I didn't watch it because Axel Braun, who cast me for it, said that I was perfect anyways, so like just be myself. And I was like, okay, I got it. And um, it's really awkward to watch. The, the movie or the original? Uh, the, both, <laughs> actually. It's like the show is a sort of neocon wet dream like where you really do have to torture people because there's a bomb and you know Jack has to go rogue and shake people around you know shoot people and yell tell me where the bomb is and like all this stuff uh, you can make that into a drink we found game. this show like really amusing well yeah he says damn it a lot you take a drink when he says damn it um, you know when someone dies when there's a mole in CTU I think I've seen every episode of that show. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm really into like making drinking games out of TV shows just to make them a little bit more bearable. It's a really good one for that. <laughs> it's very formulaic. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it like has a pattern. You see multiple seasons of 24 uh -huh. have a plot point where somebody has to have sex with a terrorist while like the government or like whatever you know the people on the side of good are watching so that they can try to get information from the terrorists it happens more than <laughs> once and then they use this same device again later oh know, not well it works so well yeah. the first time exactly. <laughs> there's some pretty formulaic plots in porn too so oh like all of them all of them mm -hmm. essentially so yeah it's kind of hard to have an original thought especially if like one thing works like the pizza guy thing worked so good the first time, you just gotta keep on running with it. My second movie as a director, I shot a pizza boy scene with a girl <laughs> where it's Dylan Ryan, he's like, this is an so androgynous uh, mm -hmm. monster. And India Summer orders a pizza because she wants to like get down with the pizza guy and she orders an extra sausage pizza. Dylan comes to the door, she like, you know, it, it's like starting like this, um, you know, typical porno behavior. She's like, there's not enough sausage on this pizza. You know, tosses the pizza, like, come here. But then it turns out that Dylan is a girl. And so she just, you know, doesn't want, know what to do. But of course, they just have yeah. sex anyway. Of course. Because <laughs> it's porno. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming. Thanks for having thank me. You, thank you. Thank you. Super fun. fun. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. <laughs>